Kelly Gibbons gives us a blue Christmas. Justin Hawkins of the Darkness stops by for a new music chat. Foo Fighters are absolutely horrific. And today's featured interview is with Nita Strauss and David Draymond of Disturbed. You had me at the darkness. Hey everyone, I'm Katie Darrell and this is the Music High Five. We're gonna go ahead and get started today with the quick hits. Concert posters for the Beatles, Hank Williams, and the Grateful Dead each racked up over $100,000 at Heritage Auctions. Travis Scott's Astroworld Festival is under investigation after a crowd rush led to hundreds injured and nine dead. This story is still developing. Billy Gibbons is putting a little more soul in Xmas with his new holiday single, Jingle Bell Blues. And it's been almost 50 years since Scorpions released their debut album, and now the band just dropped the new single, Peacemaker, off their forthcoming album, Rock Believer. And those were just the quick hits. We're gonna jump in now to the Music High Five. Number one, Ariana Grande is everywhere. Ariana Grande is the busiest pop star in 2021. She just launched her first makeup brand, Rem Beauty. The products are inspired by 1960s science fiction movies. And Grande will be heading to the silver screen as she's been cast as Glinda in the musical movie version of Wicked. Number two, Nita and David are coming back to live with us. Superstar guitarist Nita Strauss, known for her work with Alice Cooper and the LA Rams, has unleashed her new single, Dead Inside, featuring vocals from Disturbed frontman David Draymond. Nita, this is your first release since 2018, and we've added vocals. We've gone the next step. Tell me about this decision to bring David in. It definitely was a, a big step for me, and it was one that I was not 100% sure I was ready to take. I was really kind of comfortable in the box of being the you know, lead guitar player, and it was my boyfriend, Josh Vialta, who's also my manager, and really sort of like pushed me to that step and said, look, this is the next step. This is what makes sense. And immediately, obviously, David's voice came to mind. Literally within 24 to 48 hours, a barrage of me pestering them with text messages at all hours of the day and night and sort of like a marathon writing surge, the song came out. You know, musically, they didn't really need to do much. What they had was already pretty damn good. And they had such a structure that it was really very, very easy to write to. We'll have more of my interview with Nita and David coming up a little bit later in the show, but let's attack a few more stories first. Number three, look out, Dave Grohl. Yep, the Foo Fighters are making a horror comedy film titled Studio 666. The film, based on a story by Dave Grohl, sees the band record an album at a haunted mansion. The film is set to premiere in February 2022. Number four, a bright blast from the darkness. The multi-platinum UK rock band The Darkness is gearing up for the release of their new album, Motorheart, on November 19th. And lead singer Justin Hawkins gives us the scoop. Are there any surprise things that you fiddled around with in the studio for this album? There's some orchestral moments on it. You know, there's uh, string arrangements, which we don't do very often. We haven't done that since the second album, really. Let's talk about your sex robot in the music video that you guys just released. <laughs> well, actually, all the songs on this record are about relationships. Uh, nearly all songs in the world are about relationships, probably. But um, they always tend to end, in my experience, in it, with, with disappointment. So the idea of Motorheart is like this character who is describing these events decides to try a romantic liaison with a man-made object and then finds to his dismay that all of these sort of relationship issues that occurred previously with living sentient creatures also occur in, in the relationship with, with a custom-built uh, piece of metal. My full interview with Justin Hawkins of The Darkness is available now. It's part of Access TV's At Home and Social series. Check out our YouTube channel, download our free app, head to our website, you will find it. Number five, you ought to know. The Alanis Morissette documentary film Jagged is coming. Set for release on November 18th, the film follows Morissette's groundbreaking album, Jagged Little Pill and the success that followed. Morissette slammed the documentary before its world premiere at the Toronto Film Festival. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and check out some super sweet new music videos. Anita just dropped Fake in Love featuring Saweetie. And Set It Off needs to be built from the bones up in Skeleton. 
Guitarist to the stars, Nita Strauss, has a new single out. It's called Dead Inside, and the lead vocals are provided by none other than David Draymond of Disturbed. Let's jump back into my interview with those two. Who nitpicks the most, David or Nita? I don't think either one of us did very much. What's the nitpick about, right? When you're awesome, you're just awesome. <laughs> that good. How did you approach the vocals knowing that it's Nita's versus Disturbed? Or was it, do you approach every song with the exact same method? I just approached the song for the song. I'm not trying to approach it as, you know, style A or B. Um, it just was a great piece of music and it's not a terrible thing, a blessing and a curse, but whenever my, I open my mouth, it sounds like me. <laughs> so, you know, whether I'm singing on a Disturbed track or I'm singing on Nita's track, it's still gonna sound like me. So this and other situations that I've had the blessing of being a part of are really, really cool for me because it enables me to go outside of my normal box. It, it enables me to hear the creative perspectives of other artists that I respect. And it's always nice when you all end up arriving at that same moment where you finally locked in that point of the song that you've been working on and got it right and it resonates and the hairs go up on the back of your neck and you're like okay we got some what do you know about that david <laughs> this, that's one of the few places i still have hair. <laughs> the new single is called dead inside uh, nita can we expect an album in the near future there is an album the album is very nearly completed um we have about 50 50 uh, may end up being 60-40 instrumental songs to songs with guest vocalists. So there will still be what you guys expect from me, but definitely a couple more surprises in the pipeline as well. Is it fair to say that David's our favorite guest? Because, I mean, he got to be on the first track. Come on. David is always going to be the first and only legendary guest. We're so grateful. She's being very, very modest. She's got some great company. It's, it's going to be a great body of work once it finally gets unleashed in its entirety, for sure. The song is uh, Dead Inside. It is available now. Nita's uh, jumping out on tour. Make sure everyone goes and sees her live. Might see David, might not. You never know. And that's the best thing about rock and roll. Thank you guys for being here today. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having us. Why would you ever scrounge the internet looking for rock and roll dates when you can get them all right here? It's time to mark your calendar. June 4th, 2022 is the first date of the Red Hot Chili Peppers Global Stadium Tour, kicking off in Spain and ending in Dallas. Tickets are on sale now. March 10th, 2022 marks Greta Van Fleet's Dream in Gold Tour, kicking off in the United States. Tickets are also on sale now. And mark your calendar for November 19th because the music doc Brian Wilson Long Promise Road will finally be available. Music news is always happening, so keep listening. I'm Katie Darrell, and that's the Music High Five. <laughs>